Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Lomachenko says it would be stupid for him to come off of injury and face Mikey Garcia next. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest inboxing if you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang please hit the bell icon shout out to the super chats channel donations of mo donations and the patreon family we working shout out to the los angeles times lance pugmire conducted an interview with vasil lomachenko link is in the description and i want to read a direct quote from lomachenko himself who's coming off of a great win over lightweight champion then lightweight champion Jorge Lenata is respected lightweight champion. He moved up in weight and he stopped him with the body shot. Impressive stuff. He was dropped in that particular fight. Whether that storm got back to his game plan and he was able to prevail in that particular fight. Then it was announced that in the second or so round of that fight, he sustained a dislocated shoulder, which led to a tear in his labrum. And he had surgery for it just, I think it was last week. And he's recovering. He took the bandage off. I seen on his uh, Instagram, and he's just going through the recovery process, aiming to come back in December. Here's what Lomachenko told the LA Times: "Hopefully, I'll be back in the ring in December. I felt the pain in the fight. I think it would be stupid for me to step out right away and fight Mikey Garcia. Of course, I would like to fight someone like Ray Beltran. I think to fight Ray Beltran would be easier than to fight Mikey. Yes, I'm interested in fighting Mikey Garcia." The fight's going to happen, right? And he was just talking in the article about the injury. So check out that article with the LA Times talking about how he felt the pain and um, kind of what's next. But I like this statement from Lomachenko. He's definitely been testing himself. He has a lot of amateur seasoning, two gold medals. He had a tournament that he was in before he turned pro that had no headgear. A lot of people don't know about that. So on top of his 396 fights and, and one loss that he's avenged twice in the amateurs, he was in that tournament, turned pro. So you see him ready for the pros. He challenged Orlando Salido for a title in the second pro fight. And it's just been on and rocking ever since. He's moved up in divisions and he's trying to show you what he's made of. Now he has a little setback with the injury. But I like him talking about the Mikey Garcia fight because I think that's a, the fight to be had. I really want to see Mikey Garcia versus Robert Easter, and it looks like we're getting that next. So that's a unification. Listen, fight fans have to be realistic. I agree with Lomachenko 100% when he's saying it would be foolish or it would be stupid to fight Mikey Garcia. I, more than anyone, or not, or just as much as anyone, I can't say more because I know there's other people, but I just as much as anyone would love to see Mikey Garcia versus Vasil Lomachenko. In fact, that's the number one fight that I want to see at lightweight if I, if I had it my way, right? But it's not realistic and realistically feasible to expect a guy to move up in weight, fight a guy who's an accomplished champion who's been in the game bigger than you, like Jorge Linares, get past that, get an injury in that, have a surgery in that, you know what I mean, or immediately following that, and then fight Mikey Garcia straight away. I mean, who's doing that? Keith Thurman told you himself when he had his elbow spur injury that he's not coming back fighting Errol Spence. He's not coming back fighting Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, or even anyone in the top 10. So, based on what Lomachenko accomplished in his last fight, him moving to his third division, I think just like Keith Thurman or anybody else under that circumstance, he's owed a softer touch. He's coming off a damn injury. You know what I mean? So, the fans that would take this any other type of way, you probably have something against Lomachenko where you just want him to lose or be at max vulnerability or be at some type of major deficit. But me, I'm a real boxing fan. So, if these guys are going to fight, I would want to see them both in good spirits, both in good health. I don't want to see one guy who has uh, who's handicapped. I think Mikey Garcia is a very difficult fight for Lomachenko, and that's a fight he can lose. Mikey certainly has the power at 135 that, to me, would be game-changing because he even carried power up to 140, so we're talking about 35. And 
I don't know. I mean, this is just me. I'm not going to speculate too much, but I don't know how much um, the the injury stuff with Lomachenko because I didn't really notice it, but we've seen fighters play possum and, and mask the appearance of injuries and then later find out they're injured. But Pacquiao did it too, so it's kind of hard to tell because Pacquiao did it with Floyd Mayweather, and I don't really think Pacquiao was injured like he's claiming. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of hard to see if that's because some people think Lomachenko and this is what I'm talking about and again I'm not going to go too far into the conspiracy theory I'm just giving you my realistic thoughts if you look at it some people thought Lomachenko looked more human looked more vulnerable so there's little tweaks and tears or, or different things that you can get repaired on your shoulder and that makes a perfect patsy for why you look more vulnerable because people are like oh okay cool he had a shoulder tear. That's why he looked like that. You know what I'm saying? So it it, it helps your legend a little bit more if, if you consider that. You know what I mean? I could probably go to a doctor and look at my... And again, I'm not saying this is Lomachenko specifically. But like Pacquiao, it, it becomes a, a patsy of why he looked how he looked versus Mayweather. He could tell people, oh, um, do, 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 at my shoulder and uh, I might need a tordo. You know what I mean? I'm sure a lot of athletes have like minor tears and tweaks and, and stuff like that. So anyway, it would be dumb for Lomachenko, like he's saying and admitting, for him to come straight away and fight Mikey Garcia. As far as we know, he was injured and the doctor who's speaking on behalf, he corroborated that. So that's what we have to go off of. He said he was injured. He said it was a pretty nasty tear from a dislocation in the second round or so. So Lomachenko, wish him a speedy recovery. Um, Ray Belchin, that's a solid fight if he comes back in December. That's still a unification, so it still shows you what Lomachenko is about. And um, hopefully Mikey Garcia in 2019. I do have some concerns because Mikey is a former top rank uh, fighter. And I don't know what that Bob Arum, Mikey Garcia re relationship is truly like. And that would be, like I said, it would be a threat to top rank one of their their big fighters that they're pushing you know what i mean so i don't know if they would make it let me know what you guys think drop your thoughts in the comment section make sure you smash the like button as always hate comment and subscribe to next videos ego somehow. so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing.